All right, and welcome back. Uh, thank you for joining us again on another section of the DOFR A131 uh, Exponential VCA um, audio demonstration. Last time around, we talked a little bit about the basics of a VCA and how it can be used to create a basic tremolo effect. Uh, this time around, we're going to look at how you can use this module to process control voltages. Um, the exponential version can also be used for that. Um, it's right in the manual if you can take a look at it. Uh, and so we're going to be looking at what exactly you can do with it to, to change your sound. Um, what we're going to be using for that is uh, actually we're going to be using the VCO as our sound source. And then we're going to be sending it a modulating signal and then hearing what that sounds like dry. And then we'll go through the VCA to hear how that's actually changing. Uh, so remember back uh, that the VCA is going to allow you to change the amplitude of a signal that goes into it. Um, in our last example, we used audio. So that basically brought the volume up and then brought the volume down. So what we'll be doing is adjusting the volume of a control voltage, in this case, an LFO. So let's uh, hear our sound source, which is going to be, let's do a saw wave. And I'll patch that into my mixer, uh, just so we hear what that's going to sound like. So here we go. So there is our sound source. And uh, the type of modulation that I'm going to choose to use this time around is going to be a pitch modulation, or a vibrato, as it's referred to. So I'm going to take a sine wave, and I'm just going to feed that sine wave into, I'm going to do, yeah, let's do CV1. So that's our basic uh, modulation going on. I can adjust the frequency. Up, make the modulation happen a little faster. Bring it down. Make it happen a little slower. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to use it to affect my LFO signal via the VCA. So I'm going to patch it into the audio in here. I'm leaving it at the same frequency. And then I'm going to take audio out and I'm going to patch it into my CV1. There we go. So we don't hear any modulation because remember the gain is all the way down. As I start to bring this up though, I'm going to start to hear our modulation come through. And it does sound a little bit different than what we had before. And so if I bring it down all the way to the bottom, we have no modulation again. Okay, so now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this LFO to manually or dynamically adjust the gain parameter or the volume going out from this module into my modulation input. So take a sine wave this time, and I'm going to feed that into my VCA. I'm going to adjust the frequency over here. So you can hear that periodically the pitch of the VCO will be modulated. And that's every time that this LFO is bringing up the gain of the modulating signal. Sine wave over here. Coming into here. 
let's try a different uh, modulating type signal. So we're gonna we have a sine wave right now, but let's try like a saw wave. There we go. That's pretty interesting. I could bring up the frequency on my modulating signal. I'm gonna try and add it like a slow build. by bringing the frequency of my LFO down. So there we are. Standard uh, patch that you would use if you wanted to feed a uh, waveform into your VCA and sort of have it get its volume adjusted dynamically by then feeding a control voltage to CV1. Now if I wanted to sort of expand on this idea a little bit, um, I could go one step further. I could maybe take, because um, right now I have two LFOs going at two different frequencies, um, I could take another waveform from this LFO and go into the audio in number two. So now I have saw wave from here going to audio in to the VCA. And then I have triangle wave going into audio in two. And then I can adjust how much these two modulating signals are then being fed to the VCA to sort of change the subtlety of the effect. Or I can increase how fast the amplitude of those two waveforms is then being fed to the pitch of my VCO. So I'm going to try and change it just a little bit. Let me do this actually. I'm going to bring down in number two. So then we just have our saw wave. So we can hear that. And then if I turn it all the way down, we have no modulation going in. So that's just our basic VCO sound. I'm going to bring in in number two. And we'll get only the triangle going to our VCA. it up a little more, then we get a little bit of both. So it's all about adding uh, different changes, getting slightly different sounds, experimenting. Um, now if I wanted to go even one step even further, I could take uh, another waveform from my first LFO and then feed it into control voltage number two here. Now we have yet another sort of slightly altered, slightly altered, slightly altered sound, and this is all modulation. So everything going into CV1 is one modulation signal being fed there, but we do have a LFO controlling the amplitude of that modulation going into the VCO. So there's a lot of possibilities to be had here, for sure. Uh, let me unpatch this, because I want to do maybe a second uh, demonstration here. Unpatch all of these. There we go.